So the first thing you need to do, walk up to the front here. It says right click on me to receive instructions. If you right click or double click, G'day, today we're going to do some chemistry, including making and combining elements to make compounds. There are a number of benches around the room. Starting at station one, work clockwise around the room to complete the practical activities. Let's begin. All right, so that's the instructions. If we just close that, uh, we'll turn this way, and that takes you off to station one. So at this station, it says use the element constructor at the lab bench, that's this thing here on the end, uh, to check the composition of the elements in the chest. So here's our chest. Open the chest and add the elements to your inventory. Then open the element constructor and drag the elements one at a time to the output box below the microscope to view the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Take screenshots of the element constructor details for each element and add under the heading Station 1 to the OneNote page titled Minecraft Chemistry. All right, so we're right-clicking on the chest. We're grabbing these elements and dragging them down into our inventory and into that bottom bar called the hot bar. So I'll just drag those down. Once you've got those four, you can close that. Turn to the um, element constructor, and if we right click here, I can drag the elements to this question mark below the microscope. If I click to drop them there, this shows me the Bohr configuration for helium. So two protons, two neutrons, two electrons. I'd like you to take a screenshot of that, and then that's the picture that you'll drop into OneNote. Okay, I've finished with helium, uh, so now I can uh, pick up my um, carbon, drop that on there, and now I get the bore configuration for carbon. All right, and then you're just going to do that for each of these elements. Fluorine, we drop that in. Let's see what we get for a shell. Sodium, we can drop that in. That's what we get. And then we've got argon. Beautiful. Okay, so up here it tells you the protons, electrons, neutrons. We can see for argon the shell configuration is 288. That's what we expect. So screenshots of all of those. Okay, then we head off to station two. So if we get here, we turn and have a look. Use the element constructor to create the following elements. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, chlorine, calcium. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually reasonably quick. Take a screenshot of the element constructor details for each of those elements. Add them to section two of the OneNote page. So hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. If I open this up, I want to make hydrogen. We know hydrogen has one proton, it has one electron, and there you go. Once you've got this correct, it'll tell you the element, it'll give you the element. Hydrogen doesn't have any neutrons. Take a screenshot, drag it to your inventory. Okay, next one, we wanted oxygen. So I've got to go oxygen is, um, what are we doing here? Eight protons, we want eight neutrons, that went a bit far. And we're probably going to give it eight electrons because that's the way it normally works. There we go, we got oxygen. All right, so we'll just make the other ones. Won't be long. Let's do sodium, 11, 12, 11. We want magnesium, 12, 12. And we'll keep that at 12. Aluminium, 13, 13, 14. I want, let me just check the other ones. So hydrogen, I've got to do nitrogen, chlorine, calcium. So let's go back. Nitrogen, element seven. Okay, chlorine. We've got to go all the way up to 17. And with 18 neutrons. And we want to go calcium. I do have to say the um, orbital configuration for calcium is incorrect, so just ignore the configuration, but we do want the element because uh, we need it to make uh, some other structures. All right, so I've got all my elements there. I've got hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, chlorine, calcium. Take screenshots for each one of those as you made them. Add it to the OneNote. Now we're going to start putting some combinations together. So on this board it says we're going to combine some elements to create compounds. Add the following elements in those correct ratios. So one sodium with one chlorine. If I open up the combiner, now I can grab sodium. If I drag this up here, and if I right click once, it drops one sodium. I can bring this back down and then uh, left click to let it go. So one sodium, 
I need one chlorine. Click and drag, right click, it drops one chlorine, bring it back, uh, left click, and it drops it. You can see the sodium and chlorine have turned into salt. Wonderful, so I've made salt, bring that to your inventory, drop it in there. What's next? We've got to do one magnesium, one oxygen. So let's try that. Magnesium here, one magnesium. Where is my oxygen? One oxygen. You can see straight away we get magnesium oxide powder, lovely. Then we go one nitrogen, three hydrogen, one nitrogen. Three hydrogens, okay, so let's go one there, one there, one there, and it produced ammonia, a nice basic substance for us, ammonia. One calcium, two chlorine. So we can see this time that calcium has to actually bond with two chlorines. That's the set ratio that it likes to bond with. Okay, so when I do that, I get calcium chloride. If we take a look at the next substance, two aluminium, three oxygen. So two aluminium, I can actually click twice on that square, it'll drop two. And oxygens, I can click three times, right clicking, and then drag it back down and left click, and I get aluminium oxide. You might notice aluminium oxide, I needed two aluminiums, one oxygen. When I did magnesium oxide, I only needed one magnesium, one oxygen. So that's important chemistry there, which we'll get back to. Next, we've got to do two hydrogen, one oxygen. So we're going to make some water. Two hydrogen, one oxygen. There we go, some lovely water. And we've got one more substance, I believe. One sodium, one chlorine, one oxygen. Makes sodium hypochlorite. One sodium, one chlorine, one oxygen. So sodium, chlorine, try again. Just need to drop one. Okay, so you can see the salt changed to sodium hypochlorite when I eventually got it correct. Okay, so I've added all those substances to my inventory. What I wanted you to do was when you were combining different elements, you needed to write down the identity of the chemical. So when you combine in sodium and chlorine, you need to write in one note that you produced salt. Magnesium and oxygen, you produced magnesium oxide. So write down the chemical names. If we go to the fourth lab bench, we have, uh, we're gonna complete some chemical reactions. So we're gonna take some of the substances we just made and we're gonna mix them together to do reactions and come up with some other products. So the first one here, we're gonna combine uh, water, three lots of water with three lots of sodium hypochlorite. So let's open this up. Let's grab my water. I need one, two, three lots of water. Let's put that back and I need three lots of sodium hypochlorite. There we go, one, two, three. You can see once we've got the correct ratios, it tells us we're producing, this is um, liquid, gas, or a solid, so we're producing liquid. Okay, and when I click combine, um, it's gonna produce a product. There it is, it just got created and fell on the floor. I just went and picked it up. Now you can see it in my hot bar down there, um, it's bleach. So let's go back. You can see down here, bleach has been added. All right, so that was the first substance we created. Let's go and create the second one, ammonia plus phosphorus. So I'm clicking on the bench again. I need to grab my ammonia, which is there. I needed one of that. And phosphorus, I need to go and grab some phosphorus from um, this chest. So I open this chest up. Uh, I'm gonna grab that sodium acetate. I should have put some phosphorus in there. That's okay, click E for inventory. Go up to the search bar type in phosphorus, drag that down to the hot bar. Okay, and now I can go back here, let's try again. So I needed to add one ammonia to one phosphorus. You can see it's reacting away, producing a solid. When I click combine, a chemical is created and you can see in my hot bar straight away down the bottom, uh, you can see I've got fertilizer. So down here, I've now got super fertilizer. All right, one more thing to produce, sodium acetate by four. So we need four lots of sodium acetate. I just grabbed the sodium acetate out of that chest before. So let's go and grab my sodium acetate and I want one, two, three, four lots of it. It starts reacting, click combine. There we go, and I've already collected that. Um, if we go back to that bench, 
you can see here that's what I made an ice bomb so sodium acetate will actually make ice will make water freeze into ice um, which is a cool substance all right so we've collected all of those things into our inventory what I wanted you to do in OneNote was write down the names of the chemicals you produced so I've given you a table you just fill in the names of the chemicals you produced all right now we go and have a little bit of fun we walk past a few students here we head off to the other side of the room okay now we're going to collect materials from the chest and then combine one jar of each substance separately with a torch and see what happens the chemical goes in the top center square and the torch goes in the middle square okay so let's move some of these things around I'm going to take the elements because you need things in your hot bar for them to work which is that bottom row um, but at the moment my hot bar was full so I'm going to move these things out and then I can grab these four chemicals and you'll notice these chemicals are all chlorides okay so I've got cerium chloride mercuric so that's mercury chloride tungsten chloride potassium chloride okay so there is something interesting about the fact they're all chlorides we can talk about that later on so I've put them in my hot bar close that now we go to this crafting table we click we get this crafting box it says put the chemical in the top square so I click to drop one and then put a torch in the square below it you can see straight away it gives me this new torch color so that chemical cerium gave me a blue torch color I'm gonna drag that to my bar there I want to keep track of these next chemical I can put in mercury chloride with a torch stuff that up again hang on I just want to drag it and drop one in there bring it back you can see mercury is giving us a red torch color that's pretty cool let's try the third one tungsten with a torch and you can see that this is produces a lovely green torch color I'll grab that one put it in my inventory and the last one potassium no, hang on I just had to drop one okay and this gives us a beautiful purple torch color so these colors will actually relate to the metals that are in the compound they're all chlorides so it can't be the chloride that's producing the color otherwise all the colors will be the same it must be the metal and this is the principle behind fireworks they put different metal compounds in fireworks when they ignite them they explode the metal burns and releases particular colors of light I'm actually just going to go back to my um, chest and put some chemicals back because I've got no room left on my board I need some more room because we're going to do some other things all right let's go to the next station the next station says let's just put some stuff together uh, we're going to combine one colored dye six polyethene one luminol and one hydrogen peroxide okay we've got to put the hydrogen peroxide in the top middle square colored dye in the middle luminol in the bottom okay and then the polyethylene goes either side so hydrogen peroxide dye and luminol all right so let's go to the chest okay so at this station let's open the box let's drag all of the dyes down to the hot bar and we'll grab the chemicals we need remember hydrogen peroxide goes in the middle at the top luminol goes in the middle at the bottom the dye goes into the center square and the polyethylene goes around it so now I click on the crafting table let's put hydrogen peroxide right click to drop one let's put a dye in the middle green dye let's put luminol at the bottom and let's put six polyethylenes there you go and we've made a lovely green glow stick so I'm going to grab that put it in my inventory now we repeat this time we'll do yellow glow sticks so let's do the hydrogen peroxide at the top luminol at the bottom polyethylene we've got a yellow glow stick we'll play with those a bit later on red rinse and repeat didn't want 25 hang on let's try again one 
two, three, there we go. Red glow stick, one more to go. Let's get a blue glow stick as well. All right, beautiful. So there is some good chemistry behind luminol as a product to make the glow sticks and the hydrogen peroxide reaction. Um, you can explore that if you like. All right, so I've got my four glow sticks, fantastic. Let's go to station number seven. This time we're gonna make some balloons. So collect the material from the chest. We're gonna combine one colored dye, six latex, one helium and one lead. That's not lead, that's lead. So the colored dye goes in the top middle square helium in the middle and the lead at the bottom. All right, so let's do this. Let's grab latex, helium, the lead. I've already got colored dyes, so I can just stick with these ones. Drag these things out of my hot bar so I can use these other ones that I just got. Latex, helium, and a lead. Now, we said the colored dye in the top middle square so we can put the green dye up the top, helium in the middle, the lead at the bottom, and then we grab the latex and put in the latex. There we go, we've got a green balloon. Oh, happy days. All right, and you basically repeat for the other three dyes and you can get three other balloon colors. I'm not gonna go through those. We're gonna close that and move on. So that's station seven. Finally, we get to station eight, and we make, this time we make some sparklers. Uh, it's the same chemistry as the um, different torch colors. We're gonna use different metal compounds to produce different sparkler colors. Okay, so let's grab my five chemicals. Once again, you'll notice they're all chlorides. This time I need magnesium, because magnesium, when you burn it, burns really brightly. So that gives us a bright um, ignition and the stick. All right, so if we close this up, okay, now the order this time, the chemical goes in the top center square, magnesium goes in the middle, and the stick goes at the bottom. All right, so the chemical, calcium chloride, drop one there. Let's put magnesium in the middle, drop one there. Why did that not work? Let's do that, it's better. And let's put a stick at the bottom and see what we get. Okay, we get an orange sparkler, beautiful. Okay, tungsten, let's see what color we end up with here. Now, it'll be interesting because you can compare tungsten uh, to the torch color. Okay, we had a green torch, we got a green sparkler. Did we use the same metal on both of those? That's a question for you to answer. Potassium. Once again, we already used potassium for a torch. So once again, we can compare the color. And yes, it gives you that same color, a purple sparkler. And here was a purple torch that was both using potassium. All right, cerium. We actually did have a cerium one as well. So let's check that out. Hang on, let me just drop one in there. Right click for one. And a stick. Beautiful, we got a blue sparkler. It's a bit like our blue torch, which was cerium. And the final one, mercuric. And we had this one as well when we uh, made our torches. So let's see if we get the same color. And we do, we get this red torch. This is a red sparkler, so drag that down. All right, fantastic. So we've done some actual chemistry there. Um, in your OneNote page, you're gonna write down the color of the sparklers and the torches, uh, the glow sticks and the balloons. You don't actually need to write much in the OneNote page. Um, then we can head off here. We do have an information board, so that was some of the things we were gonna to learn today. You can read that. Then over here it says, once you finish stations one to eight, go through this door, okay? And we're gonna test our torches and test our glow sticks, test our sparklers and put balloons around the room. All right, so if we head off through these doors, double click or right click. If you haven't kept the substances you've made, I've actually included the chest with all of those things in there. Um, so we could possibly drag the other balloons down that we didn't have. Let's swap a couple things. 
and the blue balloon. All right, let's get rid of some of these others and then we can play with the torches and the sparklers and the glow sticks. I'll just show you how one of them, each of them works. So let's get one torch, one sparkler, one glow stick, one balloon. So if I'm looking at the wall, I've got my torch selected on number one. If I right click, it'll place a torch on the wall and you can see the beautiful flame color there of the torch. All right, let's uh, get rid of that because we want it to be dark. Um, let's go over into this corner. This time, if I select position two on my hotbar, I've got an orange sparkler. That's now in my hand and if I right click, it will bring the sparkler in. I shake it a bit and there we go, the sparkler's going off. Um, so you can see I've got my nice orange sparkler. That lasts like 30 seconds or a minute or something. You can wave your sparkles everywhere. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's hit number three on the hot bar. Now I've got a green glow stick. At the moment, it's not looking very green. Okay, if I go in the light, you can actually see that it is green. But if I do the same thing, if I right click, it'll shake it and the glow stick lights up. Okay, so let's go off into the dark corner. It doesn't light up what's around you, but it does light up more. So that's kind of cool as well. Let's try the last one. Let's go and put a balloon somewhere. Actually, let's go outside. If you want to try the balloons, you need to go to your inventory, grab a fence, any type of fence, it doesn't matter. Then if you go to wherever you like, place a post, okay? And then if we go on top of that post, choose your balloon, right click, there we go. There's my lovely balloon floating around attached to the post.